It's like I've been waiting forever to finish up Frank. But today's the day. All right, let's see if everything's in focus. So don't. So I did my final wash with that paint, and all the little details will stick out. It's pretty cool. You can wash over it. So what you want to do is get in there and start washing back over. See, what I want is the instead of a Frankenstein that's alive, this is one that he's he's dead. So I want that look. I want that ash look over his face. So it's a little bit different than what was presented. So we're just going to keep building off the main lines here. Give him back some more of his features. And what you do with that acrylic and that pencil wash is it allows you to get more of the detail in there that you want. So you start putting your acrylics back, I mean your uh, graphite back over there. You get that flesh look. It's, it shows a texture now, see? All the little bumps that in there in the graphite will come out just like the picture itself. By just barely going across it. And the same thing with the hair. Now you'll have the ash look to it. Just take your time. Now you see when you wash over, you'll have that little ash. It's like, you know, soot coming down. Let's start over here on these blacks here. Do this bridge. Six B is what I'm using right now. Now the detail will start coming out of the face the way you want it. See, you've got that mixture, all that texture of the face, all the lines will start coming back out. It's like the pot marks. See, what you're doing is you're making the pot marks with the paint. Do a light mark here. This piece right here, the crease of the nose has to go because that's just a that's that what I was telling you about with the, the little transfer line. When you have your line, you don't want much. You just pop your little bit of acrylic on there. Just grab your small brush. And just put it over the, the line mark and let it dry real quick. Just kind of get rid of it, blend it in. Look at the difference it makes already. The nostril itself comes across again. Let it dry. 
Now we'll just come across the face right here, just very lightly. It makes all the little marks, pot marks. Come in here, make this black underneath where the shadow is. Make a little bit of the texture of the, the nose right here. Now we can go into all the texture where you want here where the forehead is. See? It's all black. Crease it over here and shadow it off. Okay, now you have your black here. And you put your eyelashes in. Right over the little bumps that you made. And I'll, I'll show you here in a minute why you want to take that graphite and you mix it in. With the paint, it just makes it, you're going to get that pot marks, that's the the true look that I wanted. And it shows all and defines all the characters of the uh, face. All little pot marks. Without them you won't you just won't have them. You won't be there. Just don't be in a hurry to ruin it. Take your time. You just want a thin coat over it all. hundred percent difference. We'll come in here and make these marks here. Get that hair back a little bit. Just lightly, you know, a little bit of the hair where it's curling up on it. Like so. Some pop marks here. And then we'll do our little shadow here. You got your brow line here. And here. Here's all your black. Working on it, and you go to the bottom of right here. Just make your pot marks of the flesh. And come about right here. And come up. And come down. Make your little pop marks here.
No matter if you have the white there or not, you want them to come in a little bit with the shadow. Like so. Okay, now that this is dried out, we'll go ahead and make all these pot marks here in the nose. This is the important part here is to get all this black back in right here. Let's get all these pop marks here. Get that pencil sharpened out just a little bit. Fine balancing act to get all this done. That gets all that done. Into the eye, to the creases out here. Build that bridge up. Come across here. this in here. Not 
this piece right here comes down. Show that jawline. Come across here. And then down here. You know, little just pieces of hair on the top right here, so you want to take your time on that. Just crease this up here. Got little pit marks and shit, little pot marks. This one right here, we have to crease back in. Graphite and acrylic can mix if you just do it right, as you see. You have to just blend it in right so that you have a painting and or a sketch. And then you can mix, mix it together. It just gives it a lot more of the, the thread that look that you want. Let's just come off here and really get this to be charcoaled out on this face right here. This has to come off here. So to the chin, the mouth right here. This piece has to crease up. It gives it that smirk look. And then this is down. And then down over here a little bit. And he's got the smirk mark here. And I will really just work it into this graphite with this acrylic here. Where the pop marks are at in the skin. Pop it right here really lightly. I want that mist of that smoke coming around. I gotta work on this a little bit more, make it more dark. So that it pops that eye out. A little bit 
more here. Just blend it in a little bit better here. Just a little bit off that, a little bit off that. Now you've got this piece here. Blend this in a little bit blacker here. Bring that eye out a little bit more. Add the eyelashes in there. time. This is a, a graphite and pencil mix. If you guys see me do, you take it and you've got to mix that graphite with that white and gray paint. I mean perfectly. And then you'll get a nice piece. You need the YouTube back. We'll do the Facebook first. See the pit marks that are in the face. That's what the paint and the graphite will do for you. Okay, next one up soon. Okay, now we'll do the YouTube and show you guys the same shit. You see all the pit marks are done in the face. That's when you mix it acrylic and it just bumps off. It's badass. Okay. We'll have a new one up soon.